Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing amazing. And if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. And in today's video, I'm going to review two products that went viral on TikTok. And I'm like, I need to try those because everyone was talking about them. And it's from the brand called Kodali. And one of the products is Winergetic C Plus Instant Detox Mask. And the other one is also from the brand called Kodali. And it's a beauty elixir. It's basically a face mist, or you can also use this as a setting spray. So stick till the end of this video to see like what it does to my skin. And without wasting any time, let's get right into the video. I know I look ridiculous in this headband, but let me explain the situation that's going on here. So. A little backstory. I got this headband like a long time ago, and I haven't been using this at all because whenever I apply face mask, I just usually go in with a face mask and um, I just put my hair back and I don't bother using this headband. But today I saw this sitting right there and staring at me, and I thought this is like perfect to like try this out. And so bear with me. <laughs> and now I'm thinking that I shouldn't have bought a white headband because this might easily get dirty. So let's start with a face mask first because obviously you couldn't apply a face mask after face mist, right? So let's start with this. This is the packaging of the product and I really love this color combo. It looks so rich and also simple at the same time. This face mask is in pink color and let's go ahead and try this. I'm taking this. So this face mask is good for your pores, it's supposed to tighten your pores and removes excess oil. And I must say that this mask dries out very very quickly because I've just started applying this face mask and it's already dried out as you can see. apply your face mask with a brush as well but I prefer to use my hands because I feel like that way you will have like even application of the product and I also forgot to mention that I didn't apply anything on my face before applying this face mask I just washed my face with a mild cleanser and I just put this face mask on and you can see it's been like just two minutes since I applied this product and it's already dried out and I think you should leave this part for like 10 minutes or so but I don't think this needs 10 minutes because as you can see like it's already dried out and it's also starting to get hard for me to speak because I think it's been like 5 minutes and it's I would say it's 70% dry and my face is feeling like locked up oh it's even hard to smile while we wait and let this mask do its job let's talk a bit more about this face mask and the mask that I have here is 1.1 ounce or 35 ml of product and I got this for $22 in Sephora and I must say that for a face mask to cost like $22 for 1.1 ounce it's a bit on a pricey end. If you want to try the mini versions of the face mask and the beauty elixir first before actually investing in a value size then I would suggest you get like the mini duo uh, combo that they have. You get both of these products for $25 and the quantity of the product is like you get one ounce of beauty elixir it's the same bottle as this one you get one of this bottle and the face mask you get is for 0.5 ounce so the product that I have here is 1.1 ounce of face mask you get like half of this product you get like 0.5 ounce so I think that that's a good start to try any product rather than investing in like a value size so you could check that out so it's been like 10 minutes since I've applied this face mask and I really wanted to show you guys how this mask dried out on my skin so this is how the mask looks after like 10 minutes and you can see that there is a pattern going on here like a pattern of like small dots and I've seen a lot of people say that it's because of 
the impurities flushing out but i don't think it's because of the impurities it's doing something to your pores but i think it's acting as a paint if you've noticed like um, when you paint on canvas your paint uh, like on a textured paper or a canvas like, like your paint takes the shape of um, the texture that's in there so i think this mask is acting as a paint it's sitting on the top layer of your skin by just taking the shape of your pores it's not going in the pores and doing something because i think that's the only reason how i could explain this texture here i don't think it's going into the pores if it's going into the pores then you wouldn't see this pattern right so it's just sitting on top layer of your skin so that's what i'm thinking but i'm not sure about that but i'll be back after rinsing this out and see like what it did to my skin is it just me or do you guys also feel really good after removing your headband let me know in the comment section below because right now i'm having a really good time after removing that ridiculous headband from my head and it feels so nice now let's see what this face mask did to my skin and how my skin feels and is it worth buying this face mask or not so the hype that this face mask had was all about the way that it dries out on your skin so if you've noticed earlier this face mask dried out in a pattern where you could see your pores and i've seen a lot of people say that um, that pores and that pattern means that all of your impurities are coming out but i i personally don't think that's true it's just sitting on the top layer of your skin and just like sitting around your pores giving that pattern to your skin and and i understand whenever someone sees that patterns on your face then they feel like something is going on and like your skin is getting like a spa or something but but after using this product i feel like my skin feels so smooth almost smooth as butter because in the past as well i've used a lot of face mask and every face mask that i use you get the same effect right like if you if you've used face mask before then you would know like whenever you use a face mask and you wash it off your skin your skin feels so smooth and that's what this face mask does as well i think that's not something new or different but what this face mask is supposed to do is like tighten your pores and removes like excess oil and i see that is absolutely true it removed like the excess oil that i have here around my nose area and it also tightened my pores i feel like my skin is so like locked and tight and if you have like large pores this is so good for you if you think that this face mask removes all of your impurities then i'm not sure about that but it does a job with tightening your pores and remove excess oil and if you want to like try new products or if you like to try new products you could definitely give this a go but if you don't want to spend like 22 dollars on like 1.1 ounce of face mask then you could just use your regular face mask this is not something new or out of the world but if you want to try something new then i must say that it's really worth it also i've seen a lot of people with sensitive skin use this face mask and get a uh, redness on their face so make sure uh, that you do a patch test first if you have a sensitive skin after removing the face mask i did not apply anything on my face because i wanted to try our second product which is a beauty elixir from the same brand and this is how the packaging looks and i must say that this beauty elixir looks and feels like luxury and i think that justifies why this product is uh, a bit on the pricey end because i got this for like 20 dollars from sephora and you get like 1 ounce of product and i think that's a bit on the pricey end it's so nice that the packaging is designed in the way that you could just spray this on so easily and i really like that so let's go ahead and try this product I've heard a lot of people say that this contains a very strong fragrance because it contains rose, rosemary, lemon balm, mint, grape and orange blossom. So, so let's try by spraying this on my hand first. Wow. That is a really really strong fragrance. It has that mint, lemon I could smell literally all of these ingredients that I mentioned but if you're like um, allergic to fragrance or if you're sensitive to fragrance then I must say this is not for you. So this is how this um, beauty elixir looks and I think it's just like a regular toner or your mist but this is interesting. I wouldn't say like I'm a big fan of this fragrance because it has that uh, mint and orange flavor to it and 
I would say that it's really strong, but I wouldn't mind having this fragrance in my mist. So this says shake well before use. You can literally smell the rose, uh, lemon and the mint and it feels like I'm in some sort of a garden or like a magic forest. <laughs> it's been almost like one minute since I sprayed this beauty elixir and I must say that this dries out very very quickly. Uh, it literally took like 10 seconds to dry out. So after trying out this product, one good thing is I must say that you will get that instant spa like feeling because of the strong fragrance that it has and it also contains uh, alcohol and if you have like dry skin your skin might get even dry but it's good for pores so if you have like open pores then you can sure go ahead and try this and one issue i've observed with this toner is that it dries out very very quickly as i've mentioned earlier and i've also noticed that this is not the most hydrating toner because I've used toners in the past and I feel like they are much more hydrating than this toner because I feel like my skin is not hydrated enough. It's just like dries out very quickly. And if you are paying $20 for like one ounce, I think you expect your toner to be uh, a bit more hydrating rather than having like a strong fragrance. I would prefer my toners to add hydration to my skin rather than just having a, a strong fragrance which would give you like instant spa like experience and I think that's what this toner does. It just gives you uh, like the spa like experience by having a strong fragrance and it's not hydrating at all. I feel like it just dried, dried out very quickly but you can also use this as a setting spray. So so if you wear a lot of makeup and you feel like you need to refresh your skin like every couple of hours and then I think uh, this product suits you well but if you're looking for a good toner to uh, add to your skincare routine then I don't think this is sustainable for the price point and also it doesn't do much like it uh, I see that my skin is uh, not hydrated well enough and it dries out very quickly so I would not suggest this product if you're looking for a good toner but if you're looking for all-in-one product and you want to use this as a toner and also like a setting spray and also as a pick-me-up like whenever you feel uh, you need something on your skin uh, throughout the day then I would say that you could definitely purchase this uh, and also if you are sensitive to fragrance then I would not suggest using this if you are interested in trying any of these products or if you want to try these products first by buying a mini duo set then I would link them in the description box down below so make sure you check them out. That is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that we both can be YouTube friends and also turn on your notifications so that uh, you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you in my next video until then take care.